This is John for Global Traveler. Today I'm talking travel with media personality and fellow Chicagoan, Patricia Kara. How are you, Patricia? I'm great. How are you? Good. It's so good to see you. You know, um, you probably don't remember because uh, there's no reason for you to remember. I interviewed you back in 2011 at Wizard World. You were one of my first um, celebrity interviews at a Comic Con. Oh, and I, uh, really? I thank you then and I thank you now in front of everybody that uh, you were very uh, kind with your time. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here with you in Chicago. I just happened to be in Chicago. Uh, so very cool. Well, as we were um, talking beforehand, you made it in time for the perfect weather. It's like 20 <laughs> below out right now, but we'll, we'll get to it. It's just, chilly. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I, I love it. When, when I when I asked you about the interview, your first statement was, travel is my favorite topic. It so sure why, is. Why is travel your favorite topic? I I love exploring. I love talking with people to find out where they've gone to visit. Uh, and I love telling people where I've gone. Um, I love knowing how the locals live wherever I go. Um, I especially love going to Europe. And so it's a great topic. Everybody loves to travel. So it's, it's something that brings people together. Um, traveling, food, all the above. Um, I think it's just always a good time. Okay, so you mentioned Europe. Where else would you like to, where else have you been that you've enjoyed? Um, well, my family's from Greece, so I go there quite often. Uh, I highly recommend it to anybody and everybody. You must go to Greece. Whether you've been there or not, you've got to go back or go for your first time. Um, Switzerland is another place that I really loved. Um, we had friends living out there and went to visit, took that opportunity, and it was just amazing. Um, Prague is another place that I personally love. Um, gosh, there's so many places. Italy, of course, the food, the people, um, which are the same in Prague. Uh, the people were so just so genuine and so nice. And at the time when I went, it was really, really inexpensive. So it was a great time to be there. Okay. So where are there places on your bucket list where you want to travel? Mm. So as I said about Greece um, and being from there, I go back all the time um, because there are over, I mean, there are thousands of islands, a couple thousand islands, but I think lived in a, about 250 islands. So every time I go to Greece, I always go to my um, favorite place, which is Mykonos, and I got married there, actually. And then I try new islands. My husband and I will go and we venture out and we have friends meet us wherever we go, whoever can make it work. Um, so I love my bucket list is to see every island uh, that I can in Greece. Um, that is my hope. That is my wish. And um so far, I've seen quite a bit, but I'm not yeah. there yet. I haven't completed that task, that bucket list yet. Well, you still got plenty of time. <laughs> so are you are you a, a strict travel planner in, in terms of like, do you plan everything on the trip or do you go more by whim? Um, a little bit of both. My husband's more of a planner and I'm more of... I like going on a whim um, for years before I met him, I would just go and we'd get last minute hotels, last minute um, figuring what Island to go to getting last minute tickets. It's a little harder now. I think so many people go there in times of change. So you need to um, plan a little bit in a, a, a ahead of time, but we still leave room for spontaneity and just venturing out like, Hey, we feel like doing this today, or we hear about something that a locals told us about. And we were like, oh, well, we need to check that out. Um, and we especially love going to like the small taverns and the mom and pop shops and just those places that not all the touristy people go. We love going where the locals are and um, enjoying the food. That is just one of my favorite things to do. Well, speaking of local and, and food, as we said, you're a fellow Chicago. <laughs> yes. I have to ask you a few of your favorite uh, food places in Chicago area. I'm happy to discuss food in Chicago. Love it. Um, some of my favorite places, Luminati's Pizza. Absolutely have to have it every single time. I used to always do deep dish, but now I, I've been loving their thin crust pizza. Thank loving you. It. That was, that was going to be my next question. Go ahead. Yay! 
<laughs> yeah, so I love both. I don't discriminate. Uh, and then my favorite, is, uh, other favorite place to hit is Al's Italian Beef. Mm. And it has to be Al's. I love Al's specifically. Um, Italian beef is great. And it's funny, living in L.A., nobody knows what Italian beef is. Um, and then there are others that compare it to a Philly cheesesteak. And I can't agree with that. It's <laughs> not quite the same. Italian beef is much better. So as a Greek, yes. tell me your, your, I have to ask you your favorite Greek restaurant in the area. Okay, so my sister, uh, I grew up in the city, but my sister lives in the suburbs and there's a great restaurant and actually they're childhood friends that own the restaurant. And I was there last night and love, love, love the food there. It's Platia. Um, it's in, I believe it's considered Glenview, Glenview or Niles. I think it's Glenview, but it's called Platia and it's on Milwaukee. If you've never been there, it's worth it. Um uh, and then in the city, I, I love Greek islands. It's really, really good. Uh, a lot of the Greek restaurants are gone in Greek town that I used to go to, like Santorini, Pegasus. Um, but uh, Greek islands is one of the good ones. Yeah, I'm so happy you mentioned the, the Lou Malnati's pizza. I love Lou Malnati's. I, I live like yeah, yeah. a mile away from it. but um, and, I, and I love the deep dish. But I think the thin crust is so underrated. And I think Chicago's reputation, it's always the deep dish, the deep dish, deep dish. <laughs> thin crust and other thin crust around really get a bad rap. Yeah, I, I thin crust is actually really good. And the more and more I'm here and venturing out, my sister has kind of turned me on to the thin crust. And I'm like, oh my gosh. This, so we always order one of each. Uh, because That's perfect. They're both really good and you get your fix either way. Um, so you have to order one of each. I mean, you just have to, especially when I'm not living here all the time and I visit, it's, I, I don't care. I just gorge. I just enjoy oh. every part of it. Yeah, it's worth it. You and me both. So when when you're in Chicago and if friends are visiting you in Chicago, where do you tell them? Or if you're from Chicago. So if friends say, hey, I'm going to Chicago, what where should I go? What, what should I visit? What should I see? <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I have told people about, and yet I haven't done it myself, is the boat rides through the river. I love the river walk. I mean, I've gone through the uh, to the river walk um, by River North. I have a lot of friends that either own restaurants there or live there, so I'm always venturing out that way. But I've never gone on the um, the little cruise that shows you. I think there's also a, a walk through of the architectural. Yeah buildings i've never done that and i grew up here so i think it's about time my friends do it and i do it well so, just not just not in this weather uh no so yeah. i'm waiting for springtime i my goal is this spring or summer um to get that off my bucket list that is a must well, anything you do suggest anything that i should be doing or telling my friends to do that i don't know about possibly well, I think you hit upon the, the one of my favorites really is is the uh, going to Greek Greek town. I love going to Greek town just to walk around. Like they've got cool structures, mm. cool like cool statues. Every year they have a new set of uh, little statues that come out with a different theme. I love that. Obviously, the food is fantastic. Yeah. The river walk I think is much improved. I think it's it's uh, and it's getting better and better. And I love going down there. And I like to just go downtown and just like or or the near north and just kind of wander around and fall into a place and find a new, you know, a new place I haven't been because there's so many places popping up yeah. and they're all, you know, they're all so fun. And it's funny because I, I mean, I moved away probably 30 years ago, but I'm here a lot. So I feel like I haven't moved, but <laughs> it has changed so much. And I wish these places were around when I lived here. Uh, I would have loved to take advantage of you know, obviously back then it was a different time. It was right. in the 90s. Um, but my nephew actually moved here from Greece. So we're always trying to see it through his eyes and, you know, take him around and show him this and show him that. And now he's become the expert on Chicago and he's teaching me where to go. Like he's he's telling me, you need to check out this spot or that spot. Um, so I, I'm trying. I'm getting there. <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> well, yeah, because there's so many things to do in Chicago. It's like, but you can't go wrong. You know, you, you'll hit something, you'll find something great. Yeah, absolutely. So could you, could you tell me, um, what like, what is your favorite memory? Obviously, you were on Deal or No Deal. You were suitcase number yeah. nine. What, what, yeah. Like, what would be one of your favorite memories of that show? Oh my gosh, there's so many great memories on that show. Uh, there were three different versions that I worked on. 
I think the original was obviously the best. Uh, it, it just, it was on for four seasons. They were, um, it was on NBC primetime and uh, it was just, just such a great family show. Um, and actually one of, if I think about it, one of my favorite times was being a Chicago girl. We had uh, Scotty Pippen and Ditka on the show. Yes. Um, so for me, that was really cool. And then we've had uh, a few Greeks on the show that happened to be from Chicago. So combining the two things big in my life on our show was pretty neat. And uh, a few other things, like we always had certain guests appear from other shows or um, just it was really special. We had a lot of great theme shows where we had Star Wars. We had the Stormtroopers and Princess Leia, where we got to dress up as Princess <laughs> Leia. So it was really neat, some of the stuff. With the reboot of Deal or No Deal, they didn't quite go all out that way. It was a little different, but it was still just as fun and just as spectacular of a show it, it, you got to watch people win big money and uh, enjoy the show as a family like I said you know from little kids to their grandparents and so it was special it was really special and did you ever have the million dollar I did. I did uh, uh, quite a few times. And on one special show, I had a five million dollar case wow. and the, the contestant chose me at the wrong time, unfortunately. Oh. Yeah, but uh, she still had fun. She still won some money, I believe. And we actually that was uh, an episode with Celine Dion was on uh, via satellite. So uh, it was a cool show, but she didn't win the five million, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. So be before I let you go, uh, you got yeah. something special coming on January 31st, I believe is the release date. Of Wait, actually, I just found I found out today that yeah. it comes out earlier. So, oh. um, yeah, we, we've got everything in time. So as of right now, at, we're doing the launch tomorrow, as a matter of fact. It, coincidentally, it all came together quicker than I thought. Uh, it doesn't feel like it was quicker because I've been working on it for such a long time. I've been following and so the um, it's on Kindle, it's on paperback, it's on hardcover uh, tomorrow, basically. So you can even go on it and order uh, from now. And um, the audio version will be probably coming out next month. So that's the last piece of the puzzle is the audio part, because I know there are people that instead of reading, they can listen to it in their car or in the gym or whatever the case may be. So that will be coming soon. And the book is called Dream On, Now Deliver. And thank you for asking about it. Um, it's a book I wish I had when I was 15, 16 years old. And I started my career here in Chicago. And uh, I didn't know where to begin. I didn't know anybody in the business. I didn't have any contacts. So I talk about step by step how you can find an agent, do uh, you know photo shoots, audition, how to handle rejection because that's such a a thing, a big thing that you go through on a daily basis, no matter what job you do. Uh, it, we all have you know rejection in our lives, but I talk about that and self image. So uh, I'm really really excited about this book. I've been working on it for a long time, and I ho hope it helps. A lot of people that are trying to get in the entertainment business to I, I hope I can help them, uh, you know, uh, weed out the bad stuff and get to the good stuff and, and have a, a long, successful career and not just I know people think about the glitz and the glamour. But if you want um, people have to think about it as a business because it is a business, um, not just a hobby. So um, my hope for them is to to take some of the advice and make it their own and be successful. Did you learn anything about yourself through writing the book, the process? Oh my gosh, so many things. It, it, honestly, uh, I'm in the middle of a move and I'm moving to a, a new state. And with that, moving somewhere else, it's like starting over. Even though I've lived in Florida, I've lived in New York, I lived in uh, LA, it's um with each time, it's like starting over. So when I was writing this book, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to take my own advice now because I'm starting from scratch. All my contacts that I've had, sure, it'll, you know, maybe I, I can, you know, still work with those contacts here or there, but I'll be in a whole different place. So I have to start over, which I'm really excited about. And I, I you know, at this point in my life, uh, I, I've had that experience. So it's not 
completely, you know, brand new um, as far as uh, starting from scratch. I know more of what I'm doing, but there's still certain elements of it that are new, um, new people, new, you know, new adventures, new jobs, new, new everything. New so, food. yeah, I'm new excited food. about that. New Pardon? food, new restaurants. Uh I was actually just going to say that too. I'm excited about that part too. Yeah, no matter where you, you go, you got to think about the food and the restaurants, right? Absolutely, totally. Will uh, will there be a book tour at all? Do you know? Yes, that's what I'm planning now. Uh, actually, tomorrow evening I'll be in Logan Square. There's a, a group called the Greek Media Club, and um, they're having. Uh, Lisa Zane, who's a performer, and she's singing, and then it'll be myself, and you know, basically introducing my book, and it'll be uh, um, at a, a Greek-owned place called Stay Cafe. I've never been there. I don't know if it's new, but it's Greek-owned in um, Logan Square, like I said, and Milwaukee. So I'll be going there to basically, you know, get to see my old friends, make some new friends, tell people about the book. Uh, but I will be coming back in the next few months. So I'll okay. be going from and my hope is to do my biggest launch here where I started my career in Chicago, but then also do New York, L.A., Florida, Boston, Baltimore, um, even some of the smaller markets as well. Um, so who knows, maybe even more. And then maybe even Greece, too. Let's go oh, international. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. So before I let you go, tell everybody where they can find out more information about you and your book. My website is patriciacara.com, and that's Kara with a K. And my book, uh, you can either go to my link on my website or you can find it on Amazon. Um any version it's on there. So yeah, Amazon, my website. And thank you so much for asking. I really, really appreciate that. Well, I've been following it all along. I've, I've obviously I've followed you. your career for years and years. Um, and it's really been a pleasure talking to you. You are such a delight. Um, oh, thank so you. Same here, travel. likewise. Oh, thank and, you. And, and I wish you great success with your book. Um, I will see you someplace on that book tour because um, I need to get the, I, I love to, to uh, um, the hard copy. I need that hard copy. Okay. I just me. I will find yeah. you on the book tour when it's announced and you will see me there. Absolutely. Thank you. And wait, one more thing. Yeah. Where's your favorite place that I should go to in Chicago? For for what type of food? Do you for like? food. Uh, oh, what's your favorite? I, I love to know the locals, what they like. So I'm asking you as a local, where should I go? Well, I, I always tend to go like pizza. And I love Pequod. Like Melnati's is great. Oh, I've, heard, I, I've heard about Pequod's and I've heard great things. I think I might have tried it once, but yeah, okay. Not too far from me. It's in Morton Grove. Okay. Um, there's also a place it's really underrated. If you look it up, it's famous though. It's called Burt's Pizza. It's also in Morton Grove. And and the story behind that oh. is that the original owner, Burt, is legendary. He was like just insane in all the great ways about his pizza. Like he would actually throw pizzas out if they didn't meet his standards. And you have to, like he would go to the he would go <laughs> now. New owners have it. It's a little bit different, but it's it's pretty much the same. So okay. I always highly recommend that. Um, yeah, those are like my my really my favorite places. I, I'm a I, pizza guy. I eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Great place to have pizza. And I can't believe both places are in Morton Grove in my sister's neighborhood. Neighborhood. I didn't realize that. So that's pretty cool. And that's easy for me to get to. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. And next time I talk to you, I'll um, we'll have to discuss it. Absolutely. You know, when uh, later on in your book tour, if you uh, if if you go overseas, whatever, if you want to talk more travel, you yeah. know where to find me. I know where to find you. I love it. I look forward to it. And thank you so much for today. I appreciate it. And great talking to you again. Thank you very much. You take care. Bye. Take Bye. care.